Electric vehicles thrive on aerodynamic efficiency provided by the full-body fairing. However, our love for naked street fighters is too strong, so to heck with the plastic. In this video, we'll show you a lineup of new electric sport bikes with gorgeous looks and strong motors that will rule the city in the near future. Subscribe to the channel and let's get technical. Zero S The undisputed leader of the electric motorcycles niche showcased their updated product line for the 2024 model year at the Milan Motor Show. The entry-level Model S naked sport bike takes the central stage with a new FST platform that already underpins higher spec SRF. This change brings a new Z Force 757 motor, twice as big 14.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, and refreshed styling with proprietary concentric motor placement and swing arm pivot design. Zero's engineers claim 154 miles max range, an overall power increase from 46 to 68 horses, and torque surge from 78 to 97 pound feet. The Zero S gets the latest Cypher 3 Plus software with over-the-air updates, arsenal of driving modes, and some paid features that can improve your bike after it has left the factory. This new electric naked offers a steel trellis frame, custom swing arm, and advanced Showa suspension. Finally, the braking system features J1 calipers and is controlled by an advanced Bosch motorcycle stability control. Kawasaki Z7 Hybrid The Z7 Naked arrived alongside the Ninja 7 as the world's first mass-produced hybrid motorcycles. Its innovative powertrain technology combines a 451cc internal combustion parallel twin from the Eliminator with a liquid-cooled permanent magnet synchronous electric traction motor capable of independent or synergistic operation. With an activated e-boost at peak RPM, the mill claims an output of 68.5 horsepower and 44.6 pound-feet of torque, enabling short acceleration bursts that outpace 1-liter superbikes like the ZX-10R. The Z7 Hybrid boasts a range of 7 miles in all-electric mode and over 200 miles on the highway. The semi-electric Kawa weighs around 500 pounds and utilizes a steel trellis frame inspired by the Z400. The battery is strategically positioned beneath the seat to mitigate disruptions to the center of mass and the bike is tamed with a 6-speed automatic manual transmission. Two-piston brake calipers on 300mm and 250mm discs front and rear, reinforced suspension springs, all-LED lighting, and an informative 4.3-inch TFT dashboard. Arc Vector the Coventry-based ARC motorcycles had a couple of financial close calls during the pandemic years, but they soldiered on through the rough and are finally bringing their first model to the market. The Vector debuts in the Founders Signature Edition that will be exclusive to the US market. These two units will get rose gold paint details, intricate etched leather grips, black and copper stitching, and a unique chimney plate. The carbon monocoque of the ARC Vector houses a 399 volt permanent magnet motor and a 16.8 kilowatt-hour battery that serves as a stressed element of the chassis. Presumably, this capacity covers 271 miles and juice the motor with 115 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque. Despite weighing 529 pounds, the bike can sprint to 60 in 3.1 seconds and reaches the top speed of 125 miles per hour. The unique look of this British creation comes from a dramatic hub center steering arrangement and high-performance swing arms Olin's TTX suspension at both ends. Lastly, to ensure optimal traction on the road, the carbon BST wheels are paired with Pirelli Diablo Rosso 4 Corsa tires. Smash the like button to help our channel grow and stick around till the end. We keep going. If you're a regular viewer of our EV News Roundups, then you should be familiar with the Italian Volt Company. They've been developing boutique motorcycles with battery electric powertrains since 2016. However, a series of unfortunate events delayed this process for many years. Luckily, after a change of ownership, Italian Volt is back on track and finally ready to start the production of the much-awaited La Cama motorcycle in Italy. The bike is offered in two variations the one-seater cafe racer or the two-seater street fighter. 
Both variations are based on a single-piece aluminum frame that connects together with the aluminum swing arm, a multi-adjustable Olin's monoshock absorber, and a 43mm Olin's fork. The bikes are rolling on 17-inch rims with Brembo disc brakes and Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tires. The bike's electrified heart is represented by a PMSM axial flow motor with 111 kilowatts of peak output and 570 pound-feet of wheel torque. The powertrain is built on a 400-volt architecture that brings the CCS2 fast charging capabilities. The power output is sent to the rear wheel via a carbon belt, thus letting the 434-pound machine sprint from 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds and continue onwards to the limited top speed of 142 miles per hour. The range estimations are said to be close to 160 miles in the urban riding cycle. The list of other noteworthy components and features includes a full-color 5-inch TFT display, a smartphone control app, lean-sensitive ABS and traction control system, keyless entry with an electric steering lock, and a bike customization service that lets you choose between 22 paint colors and seat trims. After a series of delays and roadblocks, the Flow motorcycle is available for pre-order. The elegant and futuristic Flow features a distinctive rear wheel with blackout covers, hiding the patent-pending electric motor. The motor is offered in two modifications. The base motor pushes out 11 kilowatts of output, while the Sporty 1S modification has the claimed output of 35 kilowatts and 553 pound-feet of torque. The latter enables the Flow to sprint from 0 to 60 in just 2.7 seconds, the sustained speed reaches 55 miles per hour for the base motor setup and 85 miles per hour for the Sporty 1S model. Finally, by housing the powertrain and the braking system in the rear wheel, the engineers managed to reduce the bike's weight to 400 pounds and free up space inside the monocoque chassis. This space is used to house a massive battery pack and a storage unit with 50 liters of capacity. The integrated battery pack has the total capacity of 10 kilowatt hours which is enough to keep the 1S motor running for 150 miles in the urban environment. Besides having a decent riding range, this model supports CCS Type 2 charging, strong enough to top the battery in about 30 minutes. In case of home charging, you'd have to wait for 10 hours. With the Flow motorcycle, you can expect to get such high-quality components as rear shock suspension with adjustable preload, 40mm inverted telescopic fork, front disc brake with a two-piston caliper, rear brakes with a regenerative ABS system, and a connected, interactive dashboard for controlling features like blind spot detection, electronic traction control, keyless ignition, walk and reverse assist, etc. Last year, Yadia, an internationally recognized manufacturer of electric scooters and rideables, showcased their first entry into the electric motorcycle class. This year, however, Yadia has decided to raise the performance bar even further and showcased an even more capable two-wheeler. Besides getting a 23-kilowatt mid-drive motor, the upcoming Yadia Kemper also puts a great emphasis on fighting range anxiety. The bike is equipped with a 320-volt, 20-amp-hour battery with lithium iron phosphate chemistry. This battery supports fast charging at public stations through Type 2 and CCS connectors. Consequently, you would be able to restore 80% of the range in just 10 minutes. However, the manufacturer has not shared the estimated range figure yet. In terms of performance, the Kemper could easily compete with its 125cc, if not 250cc counterparts. With 40 kilowatts of peak output and 420 pound-feet of wheel torque, this bike easily sprints from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.9 seconds and can climb hills with 30-degree inclines. The top speed is said to be limited to 100 miles per hour. The standard configuration gets you Brembo brakes with ABS, a KYB inverted fork, and a KYB mid-mount shock, Class D LED headlamps, and a 7-inch TFT smart dashboard that is connected to the Yadia control app. Mantis by Orja Energies Orja Energies was founded with a goal to ambush internal combustion motorbike manufacturers and beat them in their own game. 
Their first production model has hit showrooms across India, and now riders can experience the praying mantis predator in action. This two-wheeler gets a liquid-cooled motor that produces a peak power output of 27 horsepower and 69 pound-feet of maximum torque. Its 8.9 kilowatt-hour battery is non-removable with the claimed range of 138 miles under the Indian driving conditions. The Mantis is constructed with an all-aluminum aerospace-grade alloy frame and subframe, a pioneering feature in its segment. It's equipped with a 41mm telescopic fork at the front and a preload adjustable monoshock at the rear. The braking system features a single-channel ABS that works with a front 320mm disc with a four-piston radial caliper and a 230mm rear disc with a single-piston floating caliper. Thanks for sticking around till the end. We'll discuss today's lineup in the comments section below, so don't forget to mention your top picks among electric naked sports bikes. More informative content with electric scooters and motorbikes are waiting for you through the links on the screen, so keep exploring. Subscribe, like, and share, and we promise to deliver even more EV new on a regular basis. See ya!